Hi, and welcome to this week's episode of TLA. My name is Keith Nguyen. I'm a local kayaker, vlogger, blogger, and kayak angler here in the San Francisco Bay Area. Welcome to my channel if this is your first time, and I hope you enjoy the content. Consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this content as it will help the channel. This week, I go on a fishing trip with my friends Nando, Alan, and Carlos as we work the local reefs at Half Moon Bay and the lanes for rockfish, lingcod, halibut, and even a late season salmon. Do you know who the filthiest man is alive in California? We'll find out this week on this episode of TLA. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of TLA. Today we're just doing what we always do, which is we're heading into the fall and we're gonna do some fishing for uh, some link cod fishing, some simple link cod fishing. And if I see something out there, a halibut or something, is really my goal. It's just to keep it real, keep it a little simple today and, and see if we can get something. It's very close to the full moon, so I'm not really expecting all that much. And so um, we're heading into the fall and there's gonna be a lot of different fisheries into the fall. So stay tuned and I'm gonna get out there, get dressed and start to go fishing. Yo, what is what do you think we're gonna do today in terms of catching? Because today's kind of like very close to the full moon. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, we're gonna catch bait. Yeah. And Are we gonna catch fish? Yeah. Well, bait's a fish. Yeah, we're done. Yeah, this is Minion. This is Minion. You guys all know him. You guys like him. You know what he does? He sells gaffs. He's a gaff maker. Oh. He's a gaff maker. And if you need a gaff, go get it from this guy. Oh. <laughs> you know, so yeah. you guys. Know this guy, yeah. he is the new Link Cod. He speaks for all Link Cods. Yeah, I'm the spokesperson. <laughs> On their behalf. <laughs> he takes care of them, he kills when he needs to. <laughs> Outliners. I, I need to, I show appreciation. I don't think that there's a, at the bottom of the totem pole of NorCal. He was in the council, but in his last video, he was trash talking some links. So now he's been demoted. Oh! Ooh, never talk trash, dude. But, you know. And move, always, move. Like, everyone always wants to go for the other fish, but sooner or later, you always come home to the lane. <laughs> what Carlos got? Yes, so that way you know which brownie you need to catch. Which brownie am I looking for? Uh, he doesn't know. He uh, doesn't know! <laughs> I caught him in a... <laughs> Wait. See, he doesn't, he doesn't know! <laughs> he doesn't... All right, so we're right outside the harbor right now and there's like a really dense ball of anchovy. So we're gonna pull it up anyways, give it a shot. Uh, I might take one of these guys out here to, uh, to troll around for salmon. I don't know what the likelihood of a salmon is um, around here. Water's about 59, 58, completely doable. So you can't, can't go wrong with an anchovy, right? Just pull this up, these guys, maybe troll around the can for a little bit, see if, if a salmon will bite it. If not, we'll move off to some fishy, uh, some filthy link cods and halibut or something like that. But hey, you got free bait, use it. We did give it a go for a few hours. Alan got a nice 20 pound fish on, but he was too anxious to say psychochovy and lost his fish. Nice try, Alan. Good luck. Hope it happens next time for you. Not really. All right, guys, drop down a... Last milk got me a filthy. See, I can get this guy up. I'm on a filthy, Nando. Ah, uh, filthy. Filthy, filthy. Got my minion gaff. I gaff this bad boy up. Give me a filthy for the day. At least a filthy for the day. <laughs> Yeah, not huge, but good eating size. Right here, perfect eating size. Uh, all right, that's a beautiful eater size right here, guys. Not big, not small. 
You want to leave the big guys to spawn, catch these smaller guys eat. That's all exactly what I wanted. Strip them off. Let me get out slowly. So that's what so that's what it's come down to, dude. Catching lake cod now, after uh, after a morning of uh, no good salmon fishing. But Alan got a really nice fish. Alan got like a he said he got like a 20, 20, 20 plus pounder, and he just came off at the net uh, at the boat. So and hey, that's on him. Called trying to call me out on the full moon bite, and uh, and, <laughs> and the salmon and the salmon uh, spit out his hook. That's it is what it is, you know. I don't know, so I I don't got fish. I just want something to eat. I need something to bite at this point. So I got a filthy link cod. Nando got two. Good eater size. We're not asking for much. Oh, it could be a halley. This one seems kind of big. <laughs> no, it's a filthy. Yes, yes, sir. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a nasty filthy right there. <laughs> so if you guys need a gaff, you can always get a minion gaff. Right here. <laughs> they're nice, they're sharp, they flow, they catch fish. So we're gonna use this minion gaff to catch this link on. Alright, so I'll show you guys how to use it. Don't follow what Moo does. At this point I should have learned from Alan's suck it chewy mistakes and came to regret my words pretty quickly. It doesn't work. So you take them, get them right in the head of oh. <laughs> Okay, I did this on purpose to prove a point that mini gaffs do flow, so you're safe if you make a mistake like mine or have butterfingers like Moo. That was so bad. <laughs> that was so bad. <laughs> Suck it, Alan. Okay, as so you guys can't hear, but Alan is over there laughing his butt off. <laughs> Alan's laughing. <laughs> Suck it, Alan. He did not like that at all. <laughs> he did not like that one at all. Oh, he's off, he's off. So, let's see what you got here. Uh, nice. Got a good size. Two, two nice filthies. Yeah, this one is pretty good size, like 29 maybe. 30. Yeah, that's eater size right there. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Oh, so good, man. Nothing like links. Did you guys guess right? Yes, Nando is the filthiest man I know and the reigning Ling King, or as he likes to call himself, the Ling Council. There's a power struggle and he booted Mu off the council and now he holds all powers over all Lings in this kingdom. All right, last end of the day. And I got a brownie. <laughs> it was a filthy day, some salmon happened. It's more than I thought would happen for a uh, full moon bite, so. I still stand by my theory that Full Moon Bite sucks, and it still does. Here you go, Carlos. Here you go. So Carlos tells me he doesn't he doesn't accept any brownie that's not pan-friable. So this is an acceptable brownie. 
Yeah, last time it was a six incher. Yes. Watch out for the bomb. The bomb. The bomb. It's fine. All right. So, there you go. Finally, we're out of here. Yes. Carlos gets his 10. I give him his brownie. Oh. <laughs> got back to land and instead of following Nando, Alan, and me around for salmon and halibut and all the glory fish, Minion hammers away and got him in a very nice variety of rock cod. The man knows what he likes and ain't no one telling him any different. So I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. Uh, had a lot of fun today. I wasn't really expecting that much, all that much from the salmon bite. Uh, I was actually kind of surprised that they actually were here today. I mean, it did seem a little bit salmon-ish in the morning, but um, but yeah, I mean, I was surprised Alan did actually get a salmon bite. So, and then he lost it. And I had a link bite. <laughs> and then obviously you guys saw how that all went down. So, important lesson here. Don't talk smack about your friends. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. I'll probably talk smack about them all the time. I love them. But uh, <laughs> that did cost me a link on though. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, share and like. And I'll catch you guys next time on another episode of TLA. Is it our store in beautiful Redwood City where we have everything you need to get started. Our helpful staff will get you situated and answer any questions you may have. If you are in the East Bay, come check out our brand new store in beautiful Brooklyn Basin. From SUPs to PFDs, our shop has everything you need and our friendly staff will get you situated and in the water in no time.